Although some ANC members have made peace with former President Jacob Zuma's decision to ditch his party of over 60 years in the forthcoming elections, others are still trying to come to terms with their former leader's move. The party's national chair says Zuma's MK is like one of those rebel movements formed by disgruntled African leaders who don't want to relinquish power. I'm talking of, of probabilities and possibilities in the continent of Africa that when uh, presidents don't want to give away power, half the time they ultimately come up into rebel movements. I was telling somebody yesterday that Savim became a of a movement that was regarded as revolutionary at a point, but he wanted power. Uh, Bozis in Central African Republic is leading a rebel movement. Zagama is from Frelimo, is leading a rebel movement. It's, it's normal in the continent when you want power, you want to retain it forever. You will open a rebel movement. All we must watch, it must not be armed. That's all. On the utterances of the party's secretary general Figile Mbalula that the ANC protected Zuma in the investigation on his Nkandla home by lying to parliament and saying a swimming pool was a fire pool, Mandashe said that was a reckless statement by one of his successors. He says that they will discuss Mbalula's statements internally. I thought he was carried away by yourselves, guys. <laughs> uh, he saw your cameras, he got taken away, <laughs> and he said things he should not have said. Uh, to me, uh, it's an issue that we will have to deal with it internally, that when you lead, you count every word you say. If you don't, you catch fire. And, and, and I think it's something that you learn in the trade. As you grow in the trade, you understand that better. You can say things that uh, you are saying without being excited but say things and explain things very well. The ANC national chairperson also said they knew that it was a swimming pool with a lot of water which could be used to extinguish fire. I reminded comrades that we went to Ganja, we saw that swimming pool, we came out, journalists ambushed us and asked us what did you see? We told journalists this is a swimming pool but because there is a lot of water in case of fire it can be used as a fire pool. We closed the case. Because it's a swimming pool with a lot of water. In case of fire, you can use that water <laughs> as a fire pool. So that closed the case. I don't know why do you reopen that today. I can't understand it. ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa concluded his visit to the different Amandebele royal households by gifting both kings with cattle. The Ntlapo Commission recognized both royal houses of Ingwenyama Mapogo, the third Mahlangu of Amandebele Waganzunza, and Ingwenyama Makosonga II Mapena. I have come to pay our respects to His Majesty the King, and I've taken time to have a thorough discussion with His Majesty on a number of issues that uh, have to do with obviously the kingship of the Amandebele, that have to do with matters of uh, development uh, here in this uh, area, uh, that have to do with uh, how we can enhance a good working and deepen a good working relationship between the various levels of government which uh, the kingship can continue working with. At uh, national level, we want to enrich and deepen our relationship. And I'm rather pleased that I've had time to meet with His Majesty the King to discuss a variety of those issues. The ANC has not taken lightly to the comments of its Secretary General Figile Mbalula, who opened the closed wounds of the Nkandla upgrades and former President Jacob Zuma's home and the fire pool. Now he has to answer to the party's top brass. Samkeila Masego, SABC News, Wendebele, Mpumalanga.